Hi, welcome to Dano's Flights. Appreciate you stopping by and taking a look. What I'm going to show you today is one of our new props we're making for 2016. It's Santa and his deer in the window scene. What we're going to do is we're going to put this in the uh, front window of the house. And uh, I'm going to show you a little bit of, of the behind the scenes. So let's go. So I didn't have any uh, actual detailed plans on this one. We started out with some clip art and kind of cut that out and freehand drew uh, some of those things here. We got the deer and then we started painting them up. So like I said, there's going to be three of those uh, guys that are going to go in. Here's the start of the Santa Claus. Some rough sketching on the Santa Claus and then we uh, pretty much began painting it. And um, just give you a little time capsule of how we uh, got painting and some shading that we did on the unit. And uh, this guy with the toys in his backpack. And now we're going to show you pretty much all three set up. Um, we're going to show you a little bit of videos of the uh, testing for the movements. Well, here we are. We're starting to mock up the uh, mechanics for our sand and reindeer uh, window scene that we're going to be making. And pretty much just have this Santa on a piece of scrap wood for now. What we've done is attached him in the back using uh, the piece of uh, small quarter round. And we have a little camshaft in the back. Now what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves a reindeer motor and uh, put him in. And pretty much what's going to happen is that going to pull that cam down and we're just going to have some a little bit of movement in there. We'll be back. Well, we're back. We've had um, a lot of trial and error stuff going on here. <clears throat> so I got a deer motor. I thought I would have had one in this box of motors. We have all kinds of stuff in here and but we didn't have one in there so i had to go uh scavenger around for one and one of my deer that we had outside so we got the deer motor this motor had a uh, crank on it as such here problem was that this part of the crank here did not move it's fixed so that wasn't going to work out for me so we made a couple different kind of cranks over here and, and I found this motor in my pile. This actually worked pretty well. I don't have any idea where it came from, but um, it didn't have a, a crankshaft on it. So what we had to do is fabricate one. So kind of made one out of wood, not a problem. And it actually performed pretty well with the exception of it's a little too fat for what I want. And uh, this would give me about a four inch, four and a half inch thickness on the prop. And I'm trying to keep this under three and a half. So we spent a lot of time and effort on that. But at least we know that we're working on the right direction here. So then go back into my bag of tricks. And I found this motor here. Um, maybe it came from a uh, microwave maybe not i don't know but um this works pretty well what we're going to do now is fabricate a crank for this uh fortunately this doesn't have a it's got a, a flat head on one side to keep it from spinning but for me to do that is kind of laborious and i don't think we're going to do that so we're going to drill a hole in there and then put a little pin in there like we did with this one this is running 6 RPMs, a little slow, but um, yeah, for what we're going to use, I think we're going to be okay. Um, just to give you an idea too, is uh, when we talk about trial and error, We this is one of the cranks that I made, and uh, each one of these holes gives the pin or the shaft a different throw. I can't find here's so in other words like this would be my shaft that would go in and depending on which hole you have 
longer or shorter the throw is on the prop itself. And I'm looking for about an inch, a little bit over an inch throw. And I believe this hole here was the uh, was the winner. So we're going to go back, fabricate up a little crank for this on a gun here, and uh, get her done. Well, we got everything fabricated up. Got that little synchro motor going. It's nice. It's got a nice low profile. We made a, uh, a cam for it, which has to uh, we have to tweak that out a little bit, but. Uh, Actually, right now it seems to be working pretty good. Let's find it up a little bit. Oops, there's a screw over here. So we're gonna file it down. Anyway, so that works out good. We drilled a hole in the shaft and we put that in there. And uh, now that's gonna run right up to the um, to the other cam that's gonna actually move the prop itself. So I got roughly about an inch or so, give or take a little bit. On that, I can always play with that by moving, moving this piece over and back and forth a little if I don't like to throw. So on this side, you'll see this is where it's going to be attached to the back of Santa Claus, and uh, we'll have some uh, some movement from Santa. That piece of wire is pretty much just a, a low, a small diameter um, thread a rod that uh, I can bend pretty easily, and then. I threaded it and we put those bolts in there like that to keep it keep it nice and uh, so proof of concept proof of concept seems to be working pretty good so let me see maybe we'll attach Santa Claus and see where we go well I'm happy to say we have some success so far the proof of concept seems to be working out pretty good and um, Santa's moving along nicely we're going to adjust a couple things to uh, get him to uh, turn right way. I'm going to move him around a little bit. He's sitting on the bottom over there. You can see a little bit, so that's throwing this thing off. But it's uh, it's working. It's a good thing. So, and the back is pretty cool. It's working out pretty good. We're going to, again, just make a couple minor adjustments, but like I said, this is really just to uh, be sure the concept of what we need to do is working out pretty good, and it seems to. Uh, we can adjust the the amount of movement by moving either this guy here, or maybe moving this guy back and forth over here a little bit. Um, for the most part, these little pieces of wood are just. Uh, in here to temporarily see if we can get achieve the movement that we need and like I said I think it's uh, gonna come out pretty good so uh, let me just show you so I didn't post any pictures on this but here's uh, one of the deer there'll be uh, three of these guys and they'll be also going back and forth and just to give you an idea that's some of the paint that we use to uh, do this whole thing. Crazy, huh? But that's what you got to do. So that's where we're at now. And um, like I said, hopefully we'll, we'll get everything moving again pretty soon. And um, catch up to you.